welcome back to my channel. My name is Safa. Today I'm going to be doing kind of a random video. It's very much hodgepodgey. So in the month of August, I usually, I guess in any month, I want to do like some kind of TBR setup or describe all the books I want to read this month, but things have changed. I wanted to like forego the whole TBR setup and just stick with mood reading because for me, it's having a strict thing where I have to follow and abide by every book I get is just too much pressure to like do and then I somehow fall into a reading slump. That's just me. So I figured let's just do something different. Stick to mood reading. I think it's the best for me. Now I still do have a general idea of like some of the books I want to read but depending on the order might fluctuate because of my mood or just whatever I'm not into or into at the time. I went to the library, got some books because again I got no self-control. I didn't buy it though. So I have still some self-control. Anyway, so I did that. I'm going to show you my haul and then I'm planning to read A Man Called Ove, finishing this, and then The Stardust Thief by Chelsea Abdullah. But just keep watching for more details. Frederick Backman, he knows what's up. This is my first official read of August. So worth it. I know in the beginning I said it was really slow and I was just not into it so I had to partially put it down but it is so worth the wait. This is some, this is a book where I would say just pull through, you know, just keep going. It gets better as you read on and boy, it got so much better and so much more emotional. I'm gonna, I gave it a five star. It's hard not to. The ending was so well done. I love seeing Ove come full circle and just seeing him change and just seeing like at the end how the girls gave him drawings of him and called him granddad. It's just so sweet. Everything about this is just a big hug, but it's also like a big crying fest as well. Like I was crying on the last page. It was so sad. I highly recommend reading this. I would just say it does take a bit of commitment, even though it is less than 300 pages. It, you do need to get through at least a third for it to be starting to get engaging in my opinion. But after that, it's quite frankly a good page turner. I'm probably going to move on to the Stardust Steve soon. And yeah, maybe get some clips of that. Hi, I'm back. Today I'm going to be doing a library book haul because I went to pick up one that was on hold and I eventually came back with four other books. <laughs> oh well, let's get into it. So first thing I picked up was Sally Rooney's Beautiful World, Where Are You? I was so lucky, I snagged it. It was only two copies left. I also found this coupon voucher. I don't know what the heck it's for. I don't think I'll be using it, but you know what? Just stuff it back in, someone else can use it. Her books are really quick reads. They're fun, entertaining to an extent. So I'm excited to see what this one has in store. This book I've had for obviously quite a long time. It is book four of the Mortal Instruments series, City of Fallen Angels. Yeah, this will be my next read, I believe, because I need to post another Shadowhunters vlog. People are waiting for my reactions and I appreciate that. I'm glad people like seeing me suffer. So there's that. And also it's like down here. I also have City of Lost Souls book five. Now I think I'm going to put the City of Fallen Angels and this book in tandem in one video for a whole reaction just because creating individual reaction videos for each book is a long process. So this will speed up my reading journey and the video uploads. So yeah, that will be next. Now the book that I had to pick up on hold from the library was The Stardust Thief by Chelsea Abdullah. I was so excited to snag this. It's been such a long time since I've been wanting to read this. I was actually considering buying it, but I've heard like a bit of mixed things about this. So I was like, you know, the library has it. So why not pick it up? The next set of books I got from the library, I think this is very much an underrated fantasy series. It's not one many people know about. And I managed to snag these three. There are three books in the series and it is the Dark Shores series by Danielle L. Jensen. She's written quite a lot of other books. I think she writ wrote the Bridge Kingdom series, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is her like pirate or morally grey fantasy 
story. I think there's supposed to be a fourth book coming out. I don't know when, but I found all three in perfect condition. So I was like, this is what I want to read. I've been waiting to actually buy these books, but I was like, it's at the library. I can read it for free. Why not? So we have book one, The Dark Shores, book two, The Dark Skies, and book three, The Gilded Serpent. That's kind of like all the books I hauled from the library. <laughs> Okay, update on The Stardust Thief by Chelsea Abdullah. I'm on page 166 of this book. I've been always wanting to read something like this, but nothing really profound came up. I would say the closest thing I've read to something like inspired by this would be An Ember in the Ashes, but even then that was like very minor in terms of that kind of portrayal. But this one does such a good job in terms of really building complex characters and a story enriched with culture, especially Middle Eastern Arab inspired, which I really, really love. So I'm not spoiling anything, but I love how they actually use real Arabic words in the text in terms of like their language, which is really nice because even though I don't speak Arabic, I can understand it to an extent because I do speak Urdu and that's very much similar in certain words. Like for example, they say shukran and that means like thank you, but in Urdu we say shukriya. So it's very similar that way. In a way, I've never felt connected to any others. And that's what I think is really drawing me to this, just because I have that personal connection to the story and the culture itself. I think, who's my favorite character? I don't know. I kind of like Luli and Mason. They're both really good so far. Aisha and Omar, although Aisha's the other perspective, we haven't gone too much into her, but she's giving me almost Inej vibes. Although Inej, in my opinion, is still quite nicer, but obviously we need to know more about her to do that. Anyway. Uh, yeah, it's really, really good so far. So at this point, like the whole point of the story, as the synopsis mentioned, they go on this adventure to find this old relic. And so this whole fiasco happened where some people had to be tagged along. And it's just really interesting how they all kind of work together. But we're kind of in this situation where they all kind of got tricked. And so they're trying to get out of this perilous situation. But overall, I really love the fast paced nature of this book. It's not super fast, it transitions really, really well, but it gives enough detail where you're like, okay, this is really well written. Other than that, I think it's really, like I said, enriched with culture. The writing style is really good too. All overall for an adult fantasy, solid, solid, solid. Maybe a five star, I don't know. Okay, it's late at night. Not that late, it's only 9.30. Anyway, update on The Stardust Thief, chapter 32, page 223 now. It's going really, really well. I'm like a lit, I think, yeah, I'm like about halfway through now, which is really good. I am so invested in this story right now. It's getting so good. Right now, obviously can't spoil the details, but I like where Mason's story is headed. Like Luli, Luli is such a funny name. I don't know. I've never heard of it before. So it sounds really strange to me. Her character, she's always very strong, well determined. Like she has a path set out for herself. She knows what she wants in life generally. But Mason, he seems very unsure of things just because he didn't seem like he was able to experience enough because like he mentioned, he was basically trapped in the cast place. Like he's been living there and hasn't really had a chance to roam free for his own because his father's fear of losing him and his family because obviously his mother died a long time ago and all that just trauma anyway Mason's story i like how courageous you can start to see he's become like yes he still has that like cowardice sort of nature a part of him but as he spends more time on this mission to achieve the relic you can see him start to change and that's what i'm really looking forward to so far so good now <laughs> he has made some mistakes pretending to be Omar, but you know, I'm I'm up for it. I want to see how this turns out. You know what would be interesting though? If we got Omar's perspective being Mason, because here's my like general thought of like why Omar's so intense and so strange to other people, especially his brothers. 
And I think because it's not really spoilers, like it's quite obvious, the father, the Sultan, clearly favors Mason. And like he shows a lot more affection, it seems, towards him than Omar. Omar's the eldest. So maybe because he's been burdened with a lot more responsibility and also being the heir to the throne or whatever, he just hasn't been shown that much compassion in comparison. So that's just my thing with him. And I feel like he's just jealous of Mason. So that's why he's always treating his brother very weirdly and not the best. But anyway, gonna continue this, so excited. Update on the Stardust Thief. I'm on page 275 now. Big things happened. <laughs> Something bad happened to Kadir. Mason and Luli have just been captured. Aisha was just... Something horrible happened. But there's like so many big things that happened. I feel like um, Luli starting to warm up to like Omar, Mason's character. It's really interesting to see it that way. Ahmed, that whole thing that happened with him. Yeah, I really couldn't care less about him. But like, yeah, he got taken over and everything. I was like, ooh, jeez, poor guy. Um, anyway, here's the thing that I'm like still a little iffy on about the story is that like they haven't mentioned the whole purpose of this trip at all, which is like finding the relic, obviously. And all they've said is that they've traveled from city to city at this point, but they haven't made mention of the relic. So I'm like that's the whole point of this journey wouldn't you have something to say about it along the way that's one thing the second thing i want to say is that there's a lot of words i feel like not many people would know about because it's very pertaining to the culture like shake like uh, just a bunch of middle eastern terms or arabic terms that not a lot of people would know so i feel like there should be some kind of glossary put into this where Obviously, these words are just defined so most people would know because when you normally come across these words, if you're not knowledgeable about these things, like obviously you're going to be confused, like what even is this? So I feel like that would be nice to have. But overall, pretty good. I'm at a really good part, so I have to continue reading. <laughs> I've officially finished The Stardust Thief by Chelsea Abdullah. Such, such a good book. I am so glad I picked this up at the library. I was always hesitant, but I'm glad I did. I read through it all. And so overall rating is four and a half out of five stars. Such a solid read. First things first, for an adult fantasy, I thought it was written so well, so fast paced, really engaging the entire time. The characters are really well developed. What I especially liked is that we saw some really relatable characters demonstrated through their flaws especially with Mason. So reasons for this star rating is simply because I love the world building, the culture, and everything about it. Like I said I felt a personal connection to it just because you know it is very much Arabic inspired and so a person who is Muslim herself and who speaks Urdu I can reference and like relate to a lot of the things they're saying because they mentioned like I said shukran shukriya means thank you and then they mentioned like some of the foods like shishtauk and like all these other things anyway great read highly recommend so yeah thank you so much for watching this video I have officially finished Ove and Stardust Thief and that's it so I will see you in my next video